Good morning, everybody. It's Gina, and today is Vlogtober, day number 15. We are middle of the road. We can do this, people. And I really want to encourage all of you to play because I counted up the team players that we have on Team Gina. There are 52 of us. 52 people. We can beat Sandy, I have zero doubt. I know we can do it. I'm going to go quickly over the weeklies um, and... And then we're just going to move on from there. You all are doing so great. I, for the week, uh, for actually for the total, all together, I've lost two and a half pounds in the two weeks because of the ups and the downs and the crazy and the hooplas. But our team as a whole, for just this past week, yes, we did. 34.2 pounds. 34.2 pounds in a week on Team Gina. And that is like with maybe half of you um, weighing in. So what I want to encourage each and every one of you to do today on the 15th, middle of the road, is to do two things for me. I want you to give me your, uh, your progress today. 10, 15, I, thus or so. Gained 0.2, lost 0.6, whatever the case is. Comma, as a whole... I've lost or gained X amount. So halfway through the progress, we have, a, we have an update. That's not part of this challenge. This is just so that you can see with all of your ups and your downs where you're at. It's a, something that I think is very beneficial because I, you know, I was up, I was down, I was a little upset because if I went through just this past week, it was kind of like I didn't really have a loss. But then my husband said, yes, you have. You totally have. So I went back from the very beginning, the 1st through the 15th. So the two-week span, I lost two and a half pounds. That made me feel so much better about the process. Um, yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I lost 1.8, got all that sodium weight back off of me. And today, or that was yesterday, wasn't it? And then today I am just down 0.1. So for me today, October 15th, I am, my loss is 0.1. Um, I will tell you that I am winning one of us. I could be winning both of the other girls. I don't know. One of them hasn't checked in yet. So that, I just don't, I'm going to leave that alone for her to tell you. But I'm just telling you, I did win one, win one of them. In more ways than one. Now I can tell you that I'm very competitive. And this is just going to put her right on the right track. But I currently weigh less than Sandy does. Yes, I do. I don't know why that motivates me so much, but it does because we're just having fun with this and we know we go up, we go down, whatever this, the, that, and the other. It's been a long time since I weighed less than Sandy and I'm enjoying the moment. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> so go over and razz her and tell her that Gina weighs less than you. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it makes me so happy, but it does. Am I upset for her? Yes. She's having a moment. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm a little more happy for me. Because I'm ahead today. <laughs> okay, so for the week, let's go quickly over your uh, updates. If I have them, if I don't have them, there's nothing I can do about it. I do know that Deb K, um, as a whole lost 0.4 and I'm going to say over the whole process it was a lot. Um 2.2, is that right Deb? That's just me on the fly. I think for both weeks for the whole month I think you're at 2.2 but I could be dead wrong. So update me on that so that we can also get this all current because there's so much going on. I, I can tell you that I'm sure I'm not exactly correct on everyone's. Uh, and Diane Antu lost 0.8 this week. Uh, Diane Evans lost uh, 1.8 pounds. And Fiona Bell lost a pound. Um, okay, Jenny Proctor had, some, had, had a week like me. Now, Jenny, you know that every bit of this took care of itself on today, the 15th. 
which of course we'll talk about next week. But she had an, a, an up and a down of the same exact. And then later in the week, she had an up and a down of the same exact. Our bodies do that. They do that. And then, so we're going to call her a stay the same for the week. And you just look forward to next week's because you've got some challenge on your hands. Because I know already one of us lost a lot of weight. So, I think Jenny could possibly be the winner. You better pick it up, people. Heather, uh... Yannacone lost 1.9, and Juanita lost half a pound. Um, Julie D, uh, 1.2. Kathy Johnson lost two pounds. Um, I have something else I want to talk about at the end of this video in regards to Kathy and a few other people. Linda Penn lost two pounds. Uh, Margaret C lost 1.4. Margaret McGuire lost 3.2. Uh, Marilyn Welther lost 3 pounds. Uh, Marta, which is new to the challenge. Welcome, Marta. I'm glad you joined us. Um, she lost 2 pounds for the week. And half a pound goes to Michelle over at My Everyday Wife Life. And uh, P-T-E-E -E lost 0.3. Sonia Campos lost 0.2. Um, Susan Moon lost 1.7 pounds, and Susan Niebrick lost 2.2. And Tasha is Isbel, Isbel. I might have spelled that wrong. Is it Isabel? Um, lost four point. I'm sorry, lost 2.4. And for the week, uh, Teresa Taylor lost 5.6 pounds. I do believe that Teresa is our winner for the week. Yes, Teresa is our winner for the week. Um, so kudos, kudos, kudos to Teresa Taylor. Hop on her comment and give her a big fat woohoo way to go because I know you all appreciate whenever we have a really, really great week's loss. We all look forward to those. We're so grateful when we have them. Uh, Teresa had a great week. It looks like we're all doing great, and now we want to beat Sandy, people. <laughs> we just need to beat Sandy. So I know with 52 of us that we have the opportunity to win her. But I'm going to just change modes real quick and tell you that I've been getting quite a bit of happy mail this week in the mail. And I'll tell you, it all it's done for me is show me that I... Need to check my mail more often. And I got this card in the mail from Kathy Johnson, and it says, I wish you a day full of smiles. Isn't that a pretty card? And smiles that catch you by surprise, smiles that come with hugs attached, smiles that celebrate the truly amazing person you are. Thank you so much, Kathy. Oh. And it was a birthday card saying uh, that she wishes me the best birthday. And you know what, Kathy? I had a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful birthday. I was really, really grateful. Now, what's funny about that is I got this card in the mail. And it was dated uh, September 18th, um, postmarked. And I got another one from Kathy Johnson, postmarked September 19th. She likes the Gina. And I'm betting this could very well be. You're in my thoughts and prayers. Each time I pray for you, I remember that God created you. God who created you can put your world together again. You are such a sweet and wonderful person, Kathy. Uh, and I knew it was about one of my losses. I'm sure it was probably about my uncle. You, Kathy. You, know, you don't know how much I appreciate you. And it was very meaningful the day that I got those cards because it was actually, I opened them on the day of pastor's funeral. So it came in at a very, very appropriate time. A very appropriate time. And then I got a card also from uh, Miss Darylis Willer. 
from Kansas. All my lands, and I'm thinking it's homemade. And it is so pretty. Look how pretty it is. Now, uh, Dolly, this uh, card just came in the mail after those ones. So this really is me just opening it. And that is solely because I didn't go open my email. I mean, my mailbox. And I'm sorry for that. But I'll tell you the truth. This is so, so, so pretty. I love this card. And she even has a little bit of embellishments in here with some like, um, probably something like these. Was it something like something like this, Dolly? These Nuvo um, little drops, just to give the card a little bit of extra dimension. So pretty. I love it, Dolly. Do you have a channel or are you a card maker or what's the deal with that? Or do you just do it for a hobby? I love that. Beautiful. And you don't even know how much it matches my desk because it's kind of this warm, warm red color. I'm going to set it right there by that uh, jar of, it's not a jar, is it? Bottle of lotion. And then last but never, never least, I also got a little postcard from one of my besties, Julie, over at Living Large on Lifetime. And I think she's just doing some catching up because um, she was talking about my eye procedure and um, just sending the Gina a little bit of love. And I love you, sweet girl. Love you, love you. Remember, post your weight and your progress for the month. That will help us all out to kind of get, you know, kind of a new breaking point. Um, you know, even if you wanted to do, I weigh this today and this was my progress for the whole month, then I, I would have a fresh start as to where we're at. That would help too. But, and, and I really just want to reiterate that this game is a daily game. If you gained yesterday, we don't count that. But if you lost today, we do. It's just to show your progress for you to get an idea of where you are, but I don't want you to think that your gains count against me, count against our team. We're only counting the losses. We really want you to understand this is a safe place to share all of your progress. Are, is it going to be a negative impact on the game? No, I don't want you to think that. It's a safe place to share and you can get it uh out there. I will know it. Not everybody's going to know it, but it's a way for you to have a progress sheet to know where you're at, for you to follow along and play. And all we count is your losses. That's it. That's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to get to work and I will catch you all tomorrow on the 16th. First day of the second half of this challenge. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless.